What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. Boy, you thought the shill bidding on Patrick Mahomes 2017 Silver Prism was bad? Let me introduce you to V Friends. Uh, obviously, the zero cool Gary V's V Friends thing has been a hot button issue in the hobby for basically since uh, it released, debuted the last week or two here. Uh, things are starting to hit the secondary market, whether it be people flipping sealed boxes or individual singles. Today, we are going to focus on singles as people are cracking these bad boys open. And let me tell you, do not trust the numbers that you see on the eBay sold listings. Uh, shout out to Lamine James who on IG who shared uh, the original tracker down of this, or at least who put it on my radar, which was South Park underscore cards Two, shared this. This was from over the weekend where a bunch of auction auctions ended on zero cool singles and pretty much all of them were shilled. We're going to run through it real quick here, but I did find a couple that looked more legit, but not very many. I think there might have been three or four that looked semi-legitimate, as in like double or triple digit feedback winners winning them, uh, which you know doesn't necessarily mean everything. But there are a boatload won by five feedback or less winners, which is usually a telltale sign that something is shady go is going on. Now, who's doing it? What's doing it? Why are they doing it? Who the hell knows? It could be one individual person. It could be multiple people. It could be a group. Uh, it could be people that just hate this thing and are actively trolling it by, you know, bidding up every single auction. So they go unpaid or pro most likely a little bit of everything. It's probably a stew of nonsense, if you will, for lack of a better term where everyone has their hand in the cookie jar trying to mess this thing up for good, bad, or ill will. Um, but people are definitely playing games with the auctions on these. Let's just click through these very quickly. We will try to keep this short. And this, once again, goes back to a fundamental problem of eBay. I love you. Can you please fix this somehow? Whether it's the restocking fee idea, whether it's automatically charging the payment on file. I don't know, but you got to do something. I'm hoping the vault solves some of this stuff, at least on the graded card side of things with auto payments and things like that. But this is absolutely ridiculous. Let's, I'm just going to scroll through these, uh, quickly, uh, bullish bull. Ah, look at that. There's a wonderful little Bunch of zeros and a one bidding this thing up all the way from the last legitimate bid. Looks like a couple hundred bucks. You can't even tell. There's so many on that one. You cannot even tell. Uh, I'm just going to move through these very quickly. Here's another one that went for 3K, a uh, one feedback bidder. Uh, 2.5K, one feedback trumps what looks like potentially a couple legitimate bids there. Uh, one feedback on that one, one feedback on that one, one feedback on that one, four on that one. Uh, six on that one with a one and a zero backing it up tells you all you need to know. Uh, a one and a zero, a one, a zero, a one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Oh, guess what? There's some more. There's that six guy back again. Uh, another one. How about that one? And another one. And let's close out with one more. A another one. I believe it is 21 listings. Uh, that were ended on the 20th slash late on the 19th, but most of these were yesterday. And like I said, there did appear to be a couple legit ones mixed in, but not very many. Like I think when I clicked, I just did um, auctions, V friends, looked at singles and, and put most recent and just, you know, control tabbed a bunch open. And went to the bidding history and there was like 25 or 26 that sold since late Saturday night. And like three of them were legitimate out of, you know, two dozen or whatever it is. And who's to say those couple were legit. It's hard to tell, but the bidding feedback did look semi legit on those ones. So uh, that's where we sit right now with this. This is obviously some massive shenanigans going on. 
with this product in regards to the single market. I did check a couple boxes. Some of the boxes around 10K look legit. Some of the ones above that do not. Uh, the one that I linked to last night, and then there was another one that sold after that, went for 13 and 14K. The weirdness there was it was zero feedback sellers uh, and a one feedback seller, I think. And then it was one or zero feedback winners to compound it even more. So all sorts of nonsense going on with that one. But a lot of the 10K boxes, to be fair here, a lot of the 10K boxes did look like legit sales. Uh, it was the ones above 10K that looked a little suspect. So what these things are worth, what they're actually going to sell for, where the market settles out at it, I have no idea. Once again, my whole perspective on the zero cool thing was I was not interested in the product at all. I could care less. I could care less what they sell for. But I was interested in the distribution method, the blind Dutch auction, how that kind of fell out. And now, you know, this came up. So I figured it was at least worth discussing uh, because it is kind of a hot button issue. Uh, but to see this much shill bidding at one go on the same product is definitely concerning. And once again, this goes back to eBay. Please, 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 please. You guys do a lot of good stuff. You got to get this figured out. You have got to get this figured out. So uh, that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Very short, very quick video. Just wanted to pop on and knock this out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, not sure what we got coming up for content the rest of this week. Uh, had the PSA submission video yesterday. Oh, probably a mail day slash um, card collector two trade night pickups, like recent pickups video is probably going to be Wednesday. Uh, I'm waiting on a couple packages to come in that should be here on Monday to record that video on Tuesday to go up on Wednesday, not to get too into the weeds. And then once again, if you are going to the ship Shawana show in Indiana, uh, I should be attending that. That is my plan. Assuming nothing crazy happens at work this week. Uh, I will be heading out Friday night uh, to attend the trade night that they do the night before. And then I will be at the show most of the day on Sunday. I think last time I left a little after lunch, uh, to get home at a relatively decent hour. It's about a four hour drive for me. So uh, I will be in attendance at the Ship Shawana show. So if you are planning on attending that, one, let me know in the comments down below. And two, if you see me, stop me and I'll hook you up with a sticker. Just say, hey, Neo, give me a sticker uh, and I'll hook you up with a sticker. I got I still got some left. I need to order some more, actually. Uh, not sure what we'll do Thursday, Friday for content yet, but I'd like to try to squeeze in a live stream sometime this week. I have not gone live for a while, but we'll see what happens. Uh, that's all I have for you guys and girls. Once again, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.